So if you're carrying a gun in self-defense without one in the chamber, Judge, can you show us you don't have one chambered right now? So there's nothing in the chamber. So this is the rule as I understand it is that it's required for you to carry it in this condition. Now he's open carrying right now, but we're just gonna show you what he has to go through to make to bring this gun to bear for a self-defense shooting. So judge, if you just face down range and draw your gun, chamber around and fire. Now, bear in mind that Judd is a very experienced instructor and he has no hesitation, he has no thinking, no, nothing kicks in there, he just, a matter of his reflex, and he does it very quickly. But that's not the way it's gonna happen in a stressful situation. And it depends on the level of skill of the person. You take away a tactical advantage. Now, if you got one chambered, would you put it in your holster? Now, if you come under attack, someone attacks you in a parking lot, parking garage after hours at night on a jogging path or a walk path and a guy a person uh, attacks you draw now draw your gun and fire and you'll see the difference in the timing Judd it's just that is the way this gun is intended this is the gun of choice by police officers many many policemen carry this Glock 17 that is the intention of that gun to be carried with one in the chamber finger off the trigger for safety, and then a holster that covers the trigger guard.